previously on Ready to Love. Y'all ready to love in these Fort Worth streets? Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. All right, this is the first of two mixes that will kick off this journey to finding real romance. Okay. Tomorrow, I will separately meet with 10 new sexy singles. But tonight, ladies, power's in your hands. So, fellas, you got to bring your A game. Yes, indeed. I'll uh, flex for you. Okay. I've been and popped out my suit jacket, though. No, don't pop out, boo. Uh, okay. <laughs> I want a partner I can travel with, I can turn up with. <laughs> <laughs> What's fun to you? Drinking and traveling. <laughs> he makes me smile. I've done a couple of fashion shows, well, a lot of fashion shows, seven to be exact. My tattoos are significant because of, you know, what things I went through in life and stuff. So tell me about the one that I can see on your hand then. I don't even remember what it was. Who was turning you off? Demonte spoke a lot about himself. I cannot stand men who like, I'm looking for my queen, but yet you out here acting like a jester. Mm. The man that the ladies feel that just isn't ready to love is Demonte. We just started this journey. It was important to keep an open mind and an open heart. I am so excited to meet these other guys. I know that Tommy has a lot more in store for us. No, it took me some time to get to the place that you wanted me to be. Oh, but now I'm ready. I'm ready to love. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a force, I do anything I want to. I'm a champ team, and you like it, don't you? I'm a lady, all about the taste. Bring in the heat, I'm captivating. Going into the mixer, I'm feeling nervous. Like. I don't know what to expect. I need to loosen up. Can I turn this into a mimosa? I have a pineapple or orange. Let's do orange. I'm really excited to explore more black love. My last relationship turned marriage was with a white man. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. But as a black woman, especially raising black children, I connect more now with people who have revolutionary mindsets. Let's not go their way. OK. No, because like, I would turn into a Black Panther in here. Alonzo. Vanessa. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. The thing that I add when it comes to dating is that fun, spontaneous closet freak. And I'm cute. Hey, I like your hair. Thank you. I like yours. And everything. OK. I I'm can't wait a, to see it down. I'm going to listen. If you can get me to take it down, that means I like you. Dating in Fort Worth, it is hard. They'll see the dreads, or they'll see, oh, OK, he's dancing, all that extra stuff. But I'm trying something different. So I'm very eager to show them my serious face. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm actually 6'3". Yeah, I'm five, nine. Come on, stand up. Just to make sure. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, I got the heels that's on good. today. Correct. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. We got somebody coming up here. How you doing, Alonzo? Patricia. It's a pleasure to meet you. Vanessa. Why are you so nice here? <laughs> Alonzo is good looking. I do like a taller man because I am a taller female. What brought you here? My job relocated me here. What type of work? I'm in tech. Okay. I love black and tech. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. The type of man that I would be attracted to has ambitions, goals, disciplines. Like a man that I would be like, yes, daddy, that is a man's man. <laughs> What type of work you do? I'm a flight attendant. Oh, okay. Can you get me on that list so we can? Okay, uh, I know. Yeah, what we're doing. Girl, we gotta talk about it later on. Later on. Oh, uh, but yeah, that's dope though. Nice to meet you, Vanessa. Hi, I'm Chaz. Hi, Chaz. Nice How to are meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Walking into the mixer, I was like, 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 heart, heart, heart. I was not disappointed. You ladies are looking like a girl band. <laughs> I'm already a fan. On my knees like hallelujah, enough to make me testify. John. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Lando. Lando. Nice, nice to meet you. To meet you. I'm so done training, guys. Like, I'm tired of making men better for the next woman. How was your last relationship? Crazy. It could have been a movie. Oh, oh. you dangerous. No. Oh, you did? I'm not dating. <laughs> I kissed a lot of frogs in my days, so I'm just ready to find my Prince Charming. How you doing? I'm Layla. Jonathan. Let's get the party started. I feel when you look for the good, you attract the good. So I carry around this list of the things that I'm being intentional about in attracting my partner. Unconditional, spiritual, healthy, financially free, doesn't mind washing my hair, and fresh breath. 
Where the hell have you been at? Where you been? I've been looking for you all day, and all of a sudden, look. Put on my tab. I think it's too soon to say if any of the guys fulfill the list, but I am really looking forward to seeing if that is actually the case. You go around well, that thank way. Thank you, my dear. I'm going to walk around this way here. Man, I really like Layla. I love a woman who's very beautiful, nice smile, good hair. I mean, that's just based off of look until the mouth opens. That was very harsh, and instead of that way. Tell me more about you. Man, I'm Nigerian. I'm from Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. Yeah. Okay, do. I do now. I do. Okay, now. Ah. <laughs> I feel I'm ready to love because I've already been down this road before. I was married for two and a half years, and I have one child. That's my best friend. I love that baby. I was born here. Been here all my life. Right. And uh, I'm helping the family business grow. What do you do? Metal recycling. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, so that's, that's all we do. Going into this process, I know I have a lot to offer as a person. And she will, too, whoever she may be. Well, I'm glad I got to speak to you. You have a beautiful personality. Jonathan? Jonathan. I'm going to call you Lala. OK. The sexy D up duck. Come on. <laughs> all right, all right, young man. How you doing? I'm good, good. Dude. Tommy was like, it's on, man. You know, bah, bah, bah. He just brings energy, man. And I'm an energetic person. So it's like awesome when he when he showed up. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Fort Worth, how y'all feeling? Good. Y'all right. right. okay. ready for live? Yes, yeah. yeah. sir. We gonna see. All right. <laughs> all right, I know y'all looking around wondering like, where's the mansion? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, ladies, y'all probably looking like, where are the rest of the men at? I'm, <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> where they at? <laughs> yes, there are only 10 of you here now, OK? That's because yesterday, I hosted a separate mixer for 10 singles who are also looking for love. Oh, OK. Oh, you didn't see that coming. Huh? <laughs> so nice we had to do it twice. <laughs> Eventually, everybody's going to come together. But for now, I want you focusing on the here and now. So today is your day yes. to stir it up. I'm looking forward to meeting the other singles, but hearing this process will begin with the 10 of us. It was beneficial because I could focus on the six ladies. So y'all probably want to know why I separated y'all from the start. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. In life and in love, things are not always equal, including power. So tonight, these four gentlemen will decide which one of you beautiful ladies just isn't ready to love. So, ladies, I want you to really dive in and get to know each of these men, because if you don't, you will not be making it past tonight. Nobody wants to go home on the first day. I'm ready to be in my relationship. So I was nervous, but hey, it is what it is. It's part of the process, so let's go. Fellas, remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Get to know these fine, beautiful ladies so you can make an informed decision, OK? OK. So don't disappoint. All right. All right. All right. That's it for now. Thank you. Thank you. Let's chop it up, get into it. All right. Catch up with y'all later. All right. Ladies, work them dresses. Work them dresses. All right, dude. So real. Now, this is how the body should feel. What are you looking for when it comes to love? I was looking for you. Oh, OK. How are you? How you doing? Patricia. Patricia Lamar. Nice to meet nice you. To meet and you. I'm Patrice. All right. Patrice and Patricia. Yes. <laughs> All right. When I found out one of the ladies was going home, I was like, whew, glad it ain't one of us. <laughs> I'm just being honest. <laughs> what do you like to do for fun? I like to try to stay fit. You look like you're in good I, shape. But I thank you. And you yeah. look gorgeous, too. I'm, I'm a lot to be with, because I'm very outspoken. But I think a lot of women want somebody that's going to be transparent from the jump. So my strategy is to be myself, which is all I can be. Yeah, what's your name? Rashina. Rashina Lamar. Lamar, nice yes, to meet you. Nice to yeah. meet you. It was only four guys, but Lamar is more of the type that I would say I would go for with the full beard, had the little Miami Vice going on with the shirt open. I was like, OK, I, I, I see you. Lamar said he used to coach high schools. OK. Yep. Were you hard on them, or what kind of coach were you? It ain't just trying to win the game. Right. Bring the best out, you know. That's good, coach. Yeah, 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 yeah. As a mother who has a, a child in sport, mm -hmm. it's uh, good to hear the coach say that, you know. I'm in trouble. So, yes, I have two boys, so I've been separated and divorced since 2014. So okay. this year makes nine years for me, almost 10. Well, I'm 16. I was just about to ask you. Yeah, yeah, you I was married. married. I'm divorced. What's something that's a must-have for you? 
and, and a partner. Oh, um, are y'all spontaneous women? I'm not a very spontaneous woman. I'm not woman. really spontaneous either. So if I was like, hey, let's go skinny dip in the pool right now, you gonna jump in with me? Okay, well, maybe I am a little spontaneous. All right, then. That and then, okay. actually, no, I would not. Oh, <laughs> man. I just like to be prepared when I can so I can show up as my best self. Um, you like to analyze stuff kind of first. Yes, nah, I do. I see that. Yeah. Oh, it's like, oh, like the first date was at the new beach. I don't think that would be appropriate. Yeah. You don't think it'd be appropriate? To be naked on the first date. On the date. first date? Yeah, everybody, everybody yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I mean, for a man to have chosen that for me on our first date, would mean he wasn't really in tune with me. Having this conversation with Lamar is slightly off-putting. I was pretty clear that, no, that's not what we're into. So it wasn't a romantic connection for me. It's a lot, it's like kind of overwhelming for me. I feel yeah. like, okay, like it's that. new and I it's like now. It. I, want, yeah. I want you yeah. to sweat. I'm definitely open to trying new things. That's, but that's, that, that's good. The skinny dipping, no, it's not happening. <laughs>
So what, what type of shows do you, do you watch? What's, what's something that that's gets you every time it comes on? Um. Vanessa, we definitely got into that small talk, but for some reason, we didn't get to go too deep. Can I ask the bartender for another drink? You want to move that way or what? No. No. Yes, OK. We're fine. I'm not going to say she wasn't feeling me, but it did give me that feeling of gold. Oh, yeah. Live fast, get cash, and I'm getting paid. Top floor in the pool, sipping lemonade. You know who you remind me of? Who's that? Marlon Wayne. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I can't unsee Got it. it. Can't right. unsee it. Got it. What are you looking for? Obviously, there has to be some sort of attraction. Absolutely. But you know, I love a natural woman. A woman that's a woman. Like yeah. all the ladies here have yes. on heels. I'm like, damn. Yeah, I know, right? All of y'all. I like Rashina. How she looked, the colors that she chose, the heels made me want to spend a little bit more time with her. I'm a girly girl, I would say. I'm in the beauty industry. Yeah. So, you know, I'm always changing my hair. I love to get my nails and my feet done, but I definitely love to get dressed up for my man. That's what's up. That's what's up. All the up. time. Yes. <laughs> I'm a full-time hairstylist, salon owner, so my career has always been kind of something that I'm just like, ugh, when it comes to guys, because I do wear the extensions, makeup, nails, all things beauty, you know? But it's just enhancing the beauty of myself. Let's not get it twisted. I know you mentioned that you have two children. So yes, I have two boys from my previous marriage. What about yourself? I do want to be married. And do you want children? I do. So what would you say has caused you not to have anybody? There's a long okay. story to that. Gotcha. Um, so my child would be around 20. Oh, OK. Um, but he he didn't make it, so. Oh, OK, I'm sorry. I did have a child. He lived to be about six months old. And I was devastated. Just picture you have everything set up at the house, the shower, the birth, and then um, that wasn't something that I was eager to attempt again. If I found love again, um, I wanted that. Yeah. But I didn't find that fire. Yeah. You know. So you're looking for that now? I am. And you're ready for it? Absolutely. Yeah. I love vulnerability in a man. So for him to be able to tell the information up front about his son, I like that. As far as what he was looking for, I definitely think that those align with what I could give. Like, it's a little difficult. Yeah. It's like, I live out there in the burbs and... Yeah. It's OK, though, because I'm ready to go up to the burbs. You're ready to go to the burbs? <laughs> it's already a lot out there to be able to do with your partner. There you go. It looks delicious. I'm busy. I'm about to say, no, where'd you get a plate? I, I know, okay. right here, right there. Let me yeah. get it. I do not have kids. You don't have kids? Okay, that's I good. I do want to have children, though. You got children, though? Um, I don't have any kids. Okay. I want to give my wife something that I haven't given anybody else. What are the ages? What are your, what's your age? Um, I'm actually 35. See my gray? That's yeah. one. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I need that. The vibe with me and Alonzo, I like I'm kind of young. What do you like to do for fun? Oh, skate. You know. You like to that. skate? I like to roll this. I love to I like skate. To... I've been stirring my whole life, following the rules and raising my children. Like, I want to have some fun. And I think 35 for Alonzo, that's not a bad number. I've dated younger. <laughs> Tell me some more about you. How was your last relationship? My last relationship would be my ex-husband. It was like okay. 18 years ago. How long were y'all together? A total of seven years. Okay. We were married four. What about you? Never been married or anything like Why? that. You um, don't want to get married? I Nobody wants wanna... to marry you. I just haven't found that one yet. So what kind of woman do you like? I actually like a long, strong, independent woman. I love to see her work the okay. room. Because I know who I came with and I know who I'm leaving with. I Does like that confidence like... come with the height? Is huh? that what? Possibly. <laughs> That's Maybe. awesome. Patrice, she had that light skin with them tattoos just popping. She's definitely open. I pulled my phone out instantly. For sure, I would really put you in there. Because this vibe and energy is going too good. I'm in the twilight zone at this point. Just know. Just know you're going to see this. <laughs> is that it? Look, look, I got to go. Look, both sides. You're going to see both sides. <laughs> I'll take some strawberries. What do you do for fun? Zip line. Like, I've jumped out of a plane before. Whoa, the plane wasn't about to crash. No. <laughs> I like your nails. Oh, thank you. It's nice. My little French tip. I'm a feminine, feminine woman. I love to get pretty. So what you looking for? I'm looking for a woman who can laugh just as much as I do. OK. Yeah. A person who accepts me for me. Uh-huh. 
So for myself, I'm looking for someone that is a communicator. And I'm a package deal, so you gotta love me in the Bring boys. Bring them boys on. You know Come what I'm on. saying? How has your previous dating experience been? I'm not really good at dating. I had a little brief moment of the dating scene, and it just, I don't like it. You just rolled your eyes. I saw it. She said, mm, I ain't got time that, for bro. this, man. I ain't, I ain't got, got time for this. Um, you cook? A little. I don't cook. You don't? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite movie? The Best Man. Which one? The first one. The very first one. The very first one. Rashina. Hmm. Just based off our conversation, I think that we can be like a bro and sis to a certain extent. She's a beautiful woman, but I'm just not attracted to her. It's not for me, baby. Yes, it is. <laughs> Another layer. Hey, hey. 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 What's going on? I sound so quiet up here. Hey. 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 Ladies, are y'all getting to know these men? Yes, <laughs> you're getting deep, honey, okay? Well, just to be safe. We're gonna break the ice with a little game. Okay. Follow me. Game time. Yeah. I am terrified. I'm horrible in games. So I gotta pray because I'm gonna need some serious help. So this is a game I'm calling Good on Paper. You know how when you're online and you're looking at somebody's dating profile, yeah. they look like it's just too good to be true? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's probably all. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your chance to see what these fellas' dating profiles look like without <laughs> all the BS. <laughs> the good, the bad, and the downright freaky. Oh, yes. oh, oh, yeah. okay. Please don't let any of my fetishes come up. Please don't let any of my fetishes come up. Ladies, you will have four horseshoes, each with one of the gentlemen's names on it. After the fact is read, you will hold up the horseshoe that the man you believe the fact belongs to. Mm. The lady with the most correct answers, she has proven that she's putting in the work to get to know these men. And because of that, I'm automatically making them safe from elimination tonight. Nice. How y'all like that? Okay. I like that. That's good? Yes. Yeah, okay. The opportunity for immunity, I had mixed feelings about it. It's a real horseshoe. If I pull off a win, I would be happy, but the thought of one less woman to choose from for elimination is kind of scary as well. You beautiful ladies, y'all ready? Ready. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This man says he lost himself in his previous marriage trying to please his wife. Who is this man? Mm. All right, let's see. Right, it's unanimous. <laughs> Everybody has Lamar. <laughs> unanimous. And guess what? Everybody is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Jonathan. The correct answer is Jonathan. Oh my God. I was very surprised to find out that it was Jonathan. He seems very assertive and sure in what he's looking for and I actually didn't know that he was previously married. Next question. This man says that the reason I don't have kids, I want to be able to give my wife something I haven't given everybody else. Interesting. <laughs> Patricia, Leyland, Christina, Vanessa, and Patrice have Alonzo. Uh, <laughs> Maya, you have Chad. Took a wild guess, I'm sorry. Correct the answer <laughs> is Alonzo. <laughs> I like that Alonzo wanted to save that moment for when he got married. I had these babies for him. <laughs> I sure will. <laughs> Third question. Who said too much makeup makes you look like a Muppet and those long eyelashes feel like they're reaching out to scratch me up? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Patricia, what you got? Maya, you picked Chaz. The correct answer is... Chad. Oh, okay. Who all got it right? Just one? Maya. Hey, look at you. <laughs> Y'all sleeping on me. Y'all sleeping on me. I was like, what? That was my number one guy. But that's OK. We going to work on past that. <laughs> all right, ladies, put your seatbelt on. OK. Which of these guys says he loves thick thighs? Alonzo. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> This man likes a woman who is well in style. And Lay Lennon put up two horseshoes. <laughs> the correct answer is Chad. Damn, I <laughs> knew it. The craziest sexual thing he ever experienced was when a woman touched his gooch. 
I didn't get that conversation. I <laughs> know me either. The gooch is the part, like, between the and the, you know. And the answer is Jonathan. Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. This man likes to push sexual boundaries. Threesomes, sex toys, swinging. Who is this man? The correct answer is Lamar. Yes. Hard no. For real. All right, we got ourselves a close one. Leilin and Maya. You guys got the same amount of answers right, so we're going to square off between the two, all right? I am determined to win because I felt like in a short period of time, I established some real connections. I have to win this. Like, I still haven't proved myself and gotten to know these guys good enough, so I'm not going home tonight. Remember, the winner is safe from elimination tonight. This is your final question. All right, Leilin and Maya. Looks like we got ourselves a tie. Last question, here we go. This man says he learned romance from TV shows like Martin, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, yet he's still living single. I'm gonna give you a chance to make your choice. Who said this? All right, count of three, let's go. One, two, and three. All right, Leilin to Alonzo. Maya, you have Jonathan. Wow, and the correct answer is... Jonathan. <laughs> and the winner is... Miss Maya. Oh my god, I won the game! Yes, I'm just so excited to be safe from elimination. I remember that conversation. Okay, okay. all right. I still have another chance to get to know these guys and find my true love. Well, you guessing on some of them? I knew most of them. So you've been moving around, mingling I've been and... I've been moving around, yeah. Okay. For sure. But when she won the game, I was genuinely happy for her. However, it let me know that I have to get to know each of the guys a little bit more. Maya, you are now safe from elimination tonight. But that don't mean step off the gas. Okay. You and all the ladies need to continue to get to know these men. Fellas, I know y'all ain't in the hot seat tonight, but the pressure is still on. Because at the end of the night, you're gonna have to decide which of these beautiful ladies just isn't ready to love. When the game ended and I didn't win, it was a little like nerve wracking because I really wasn't ready to go home. So I have to get time with all the guys and leave an impression on them. I'll catch up with y'all later. It's the main link. Bar is still open. Y'all ladies did good. Very, very I good. I feel like I did so well. It's like somebody just went to the side of my leg and punched it. Just needs to be some massage now. <laughs> Gently. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so I got a couple questions, actually. What's up? So if you had to put three words into amazing sex, what would you choose? Ooh, sensual. Okay. Slow. Okay. And gentle. Oh, for me, slow. Okay. Passionate mm. and nasty. Ooh, girl. The way, <laughs> the way, did y'all see the way that she said the nasty? Yes. Girl? <laughs> nasty. Yes, honey. I said it. That's exactly what the word I was looking for. <laughs> Rashina, it is. What about you? Do you have anything like weird or a fetish? Uh, um, I'm a sucker for cute feet. Oh, I love pretty you feet. like to suck toes? Depending on what setting we're in, like, uh, so she does hair. So I know she's standing up all day. Oh, so if she okay. come home and she sit down, I'm going to grab her foot. That's I'm gonna, right. Oh, that's right, babe. That's foot. sweet. So you, are you sucking on toes, though? I said depending on the side. It's not like, hey. <laughs> Alonso, he was fun. I liked his personality. I felt like he was pretty outgoing. He would rub my feet, and he was giving my man, my man, my man vibes. Speaking of feet, let's use ours. We're going to stand up. I don't need everybody. Look, I'm going to help everybody up as I sit down. Don't need everybody. Oh. OK. I am your helpmate. I'm here to push you, motivate you, build you, and let you lead the way. Lead the way. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Do you prefer, like, a sunset or a sunrise? Ooh, that's a good question. Vanessa definitely caught my eye. You know, her smile, she's very beautiful. She had a sense of elegance about her. You know, I think the sky looks different when the sun sets. It looks like God is literally painted 
a beautiful abstract yeah. image. It always like takes my breath to see. Like God is real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is he um, an important factor in your life? Absolutely. So in a partner, that's like a must. Yeah. So for your next relationship, are you looking for marriage? I was married before. What I'd like is what's important to me, my partner can get on board with. What is important to you? Stability, integrity, shared values like travel. Also, therapy is very important to me, a man who seeks counsel. It's almost like we've been talking all day because I've been saying a lot of the same stuff that you're saying. Really? Yeah. Oh, I guess we were just waiting for this moment. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I name off my little list and he's just like, check, 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 check. I feel really good that there's a man on this journey that apparently has the things to offer that I am looking for. Thank you for um, stepping away with me. Absolutely. I appreciate her opening up like that and hope to see where this connection goes. I want to show her a dynamic sunset. I had a great time talking to you. I did too. <laughs> Thank you. Come on. Come on. Shake, shake, shake. You know what you're doing over here? Anything you want, it's on me. I got yes. a tab open there. It's, yeah. it's nothing. It's nothing. Go ahead. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> what color are your toes? They're white. They're white? Okay, I can barely tell with the. Oh, because I have this little thing in the front. Okay. You don't have a fetish, do you? I'm a feet guy. Ooh, you are? I'm a feet guy. You like guy. to suck toes? I do. Yeah, that's my thing, yeah. When I find out that Jonathan sucks toes too, I, I don't know what's up with these guys. I don't think that I would want someone to suck on my toes. I think it's a little nasty. How's dating out here? How, how are the guys treating you? It's been okay, but no one that has caught my attention yet. As good as you look, nobody's could just, uh. I want someone that like looks past this and wants to get to know me, like not surface level. I just want someone that I can be like vulnerable with. Mm -hmm. In past relationships, I've not been vulnerable because I don't think that like the man that I was with created the space enough for me to feel safe. Okay. Uh, Are what? you good at that? I do believe so. How do you make a woman feel safe? Well, for one, you have to really listen to your partner. Hear what she's saying, especially if it's coming from a vulnerable or emotional space. I want to create that safe space for my man, too, because I have men that I've been with. I know that sometimes it's not reciprocated. Yeah. Patricia, she has her guards up, and it makes sense why. At the same time, you have to have some type of open doors, something in order to build a relationship. It takes a while for you to trust, you know, the person that you're with. Right. Maybe that's like my experience, I think. Okay. Okay. <laughs>
She's ready to get to the meat and the potatoes. <laughs> okay. like, yes. Who are you feeling? Alonzo, he seems so fun. Mm -hmm. and I want to have a good, fun time. You're blessed. <laughs> <laughs> While the guys are deliberating, I mean, we're deliberating too. We're talking about who we're feeling, who we're not, and it's still interesting to know who's on the top of the list going forward. I would say my conversations with Chaz were the best. We had a lot in common. Jonathan, we just naturally flow, you know what I mean? Now, as y'all know, Maya cannot be sent home tonight. Yeah. So with her out of the picture, I want y'all to tell me who you're not feeling. Least connection for me would be Rashina. I see her more as a friend, more as a homegirl. I don't see me being in a relationship with her, no. You know, I, I wanted to talk to her to see if it was a connection. Right. Um, not for me. Chris. Patricia. It sounds like she may have a little guard up from past relationships. Patricia. She seems to have some type of shell. I can work with it, but she has to feel protected in order to let those guards down. And then uh, Vanessa. We get along very well, but I, I don't see anything going further than that. Vanessa, she probably didn't leave it all out on the table. She okay. probably was just like... Holding back. Trying to, exactly. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I want y'all to gather the ladies. I'll be out a little later. And we're going to let the details out. Okay. okay. All right. We're going to make it do what it do. All right. All right. All right. All right. My least compatible is Lamar. The threesome thing, I'm not interested in that. He said, would you be willing to go to a new beach with him on a first date? Wow. And so, yeah. yeah. That's a deal breaker for me. It I'm is. Not, no. I feel a little sad for whichever one of us. I don't even right. see anybody going home. I know. <laughs> Nervous? Yeah, no, yeah. yes, I'm nervous because I feel like someone might have voted for me. So? What? No. I was concerned about Vanessa because she was not very confident. I know she really wants a genuine connection, and this is the first elimination of the process, so it made it real. Hello, ladies. Hi. Hi. Let's go talk to Tommy. Made it through the day. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody looking good? Still got their swag? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, all right. Glad y'all enjoyed it. But as you know, these four gentlemen, they had to determine which one of you beautiful ladies just isn't ready to love. We're about to do eliminations, and I feel really sad. Like, you know, the first night, no one wants to go home. Just happy it's not me. <laughs> Patricia, Vanessa, and Rashina, please step forward. I'm super, super shocked. My conversation was good. I got around to all the guys. So I was nervous. I'm not going to lie. I first want to thank you all for taking a chance on love and a chance to be loved. Now, after speaking with these men, it felt like some of you were more open than others. Rashina. Yes. You left the men wanting more. So you're safe tonight. So be sure to open up. Get into the possibility that your forever, forever could be here. Okay. Can't hold anything back. Step on back in line. Thank you. I was safe, y'all. I was safe. So that leaves Patricia and Vanessa. Where's Ashton Kutcher? Because, like, y'all are playing games with me. I'm not ready to go. The consistency for the men is that both of you haven't found that spark yet. But for one of you, the heat isn't there at all. These moments dragged on for so long. I just wanted to know who was going home, and I did not want it to be me. Unfortunately, the woman whose journey ends here tonight is... Patricia. Aww. Please say your goodbyes. Aww. Aww. Bye. <laughs> I'm feeling disappointed because I feel like I'm ready. I've done all the healing work, self-awareness, all the things, but... It wasn't the end result that I would have wanted. It's a bittersweet feeling, but I'm glad that I took a chance to find love. Right. You've done the work. I don't want to talk anymore. No, I know. <sighs> Vanessa, we got a long journey ahead of us. So please take heed to some of the advice. All right, step on back in line. I didn't want it to be Patricia, but I mean, of the two options, I was really happy. 
I did my best to show up. So I was really grateful to have a second chance. Everybody, Wusa! Wusa! <laughs> this is the only beginning, ladies and gentlemen. And let me tell you something, it does not get any easier. Next time I see you all, it'll be at my Ready to Love brunch. OK. okay. Good. And there you will meet the remaining singles. Mm. While some connections might be forming right now, you never know what might be coming around the corner next. Oh, yeah, it's about to get tricky up in here. <laughs> when it comes to Tommy's Brunch, I'm excited to see these next bunch of people. That's where I thrive. Bottomless mimosas. <laughs> Y'all enjoy yourselves tonight. Yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> now, when I walk out, treat me like Obama. Do me. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> next time on Ready to Love. Gentlemen, you all have the power to eliminate this week. Allow me to introduce you to eight more sexy singles. The ladies are beautiful, but you know, I don't really see any competition. Did you see anybody instantly that you were attracted to? I came and sat next to you. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, let's do No, I wasn't the only one looking, okay. You want a piece of covers? Oh no. This catfish is good as hell. Oh my god. I'm here. <laughs> I'm still here at the table. Oh. <laughs> I just want to tear this up. <laughs> Have you ever been married? Yep, twice. OK. Next. Um, How long ago? Why does that matter? Because I asked. I'm done talking to her. I, don't, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Bean, again. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, dismissed.